Good morning, good morning, and welcome once again to Brenda Perryman Show right here on TV 33, WHBR, Comcast 20 in Detroit. And with me is Kevin Fisher. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Ms. Perryman. How are you? Oh, I'm just fine. I'm just fine. If you recall, Kevin was here a few months ago to talk about his son, Dominique, who had passed away. He had a mental illness, right? Correct. Correct, uh, bipolar, schizophrenic. And uh, he committed suicide. He did, in uh, June of 2010. There, and once again, I'm so sorry about that because I just can't imagine. I can't imagine. But it's, uh, you started the Dominique Fisher Foundation, right? Correct. Uh, I started the Dominique Fisher Memorial Foundation in uh, 2011. And I also recently accepted uh, the position as executive director for the National Alliance on Mental Illness in the state of Michigan. So I'm three weeks into that new responsibility. Oh, my goodness. Well, mental illness is something that we as a people need to talk more about anyway. Absolutely. And deal with it and get people help. So you have an event coming up, right? We do. Uh, the National Alliance on Mental Illness hosts an annual mental health conference. And this year, uh, for the first time, we're hosting it here in downtown Detroit at the Doubletree Hotel on May 9th and 10th. Uh, and at that conference, you will find a phenomenal amount of information on mental health services uh, offered throughout the uh, community. So can anybody come to this? Anybody can come, but there is a fee to attend the conference. Uh, the conference is a two-day conference, and we have some uh, wonderful panel discussions and wonderful guest speakers. Uh, Senator Debbie Stabenow will be there, uh, Congressman Patrick Kennedy. Our keynote uh, speaker on Saturday evening will be Marielle Hemingway. Um, for those of you who recall, yes. she's the granddaughter of uh, Ernest, Ernest Hemingway. Right. And uh, she's going to be here on Saturday night, the 10th, to talk about a documentary she recently produced with Oprah Winfrey titled Running From Crazy. Uh, she is a very large mental health activist. Yes, she is. Yes, uh, she is. And Ernest Hemingway committed suicide. Highway. Exactly. In the Hemingway family, there were seven suicides, and they have a very, unfortunately, long history of mental illness in their family. So she is very And passionate. genius. That's the thing, genius and mental illness. Well, and one of the things that people should understand is that many folks who live with mental illness are very bright, very high-functioning people. Right. That's why I, I try to be low key. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not laughing at that, but I do know. I do know. And um, I let's talk. I, you know, I'm going to try to maybe next week give you a little time. Maybe um, I got to because we it's so important that we talk about this and that people know about this. And I'm going to see if I could get you in for a few minutes uh, on next week's show since we have to, have to cut this short. But let's talk. Can we, if we go to the conference, can we, uh, do they have opportunities to talk to any of the speakers or anything? Yes, we will have four exciting panel discussions, uh, mental health and faith. How does your faith view mental health care? Uh, you know, many of us were raised to believe that if you commit suicide, you automatically go to hell. Right, And right. that is a heavy burden to carry. So there are lots of things to talk about. Ask the doctor, legislative panels, and even law enforcement panels. So you get an opportunity to interact with people who do this every day, and they can answer your questions uh, for yourself and for your loved ones. Oh, it's so important. It is so important, and we look at things that are happening. Look at the young man last week who went through the school and stabbing people, you know. Exactly. People, you know, we link uh, gun control with mentally ill people, but unfortunately that situation demonstrated that you don't have to have a gun uh, to harm people, and it's not just as simple as linking those two together. And specifically in the minority community, you know, we have a problem going to medical doctors, and we have an even larger problem facing mental health diagnosis and getting the care that we need. And we need to understand if we are diagnosed early, 
we can get the help we need and and generally live pretty normal lives. Uh, mental health diagnosis is not a death sentence, and we need to understand that no, in it's the not. African American no, it's community. Not. And there are ways to control it and so forth. We had, um, and I, I talked quick, we had Jennifer Lewis call in, and she's manic depressive. She's the actress who played Tina Turner's mother. Yeah. On, um, we had a little doc, uh, not a doc, uh, interview with her that was done by a friend of mine out in California where she talked about that. Also, um, oh, there's so much to say, and I'm going to make some kind of arrangement for you to come back next week, even if it's for another 10 minutes or something to talk about this because this is so important. Everybody, oh, also on May 9th, everyone, Lucille O'Neill, Shaquille O'Neal's mom is calling in to Brenda Perriman show to talk about mothers. So I'm really excited about that. We have so many great things happening at TV 33. I don't even want to tell you all of them. So, um, and we're going to get the word out more. And w once again, when is this? This is May 9th and 10th, downtown What's Detroit. What's it called? It's called the NAMI Annual Conference. Information is available on our website at NA. M I M I dot org. N A M I M I dot org. Correct. And um, you have the Kevin Fisher, I mean, uh, Dominique Fisher Memorial Foundation, right? Yes, I do. Do you have anything on that website about it? It is, yes. There's information on my website at www.thenique.com. The Neek. Yes, that was one of his many nicknames. I know. Oh, I know. Listen, everybody, I'll see you again at 1. We have a call-in about jobs, and there's going to be a job here, fair here. It's not a job fair. It's an opportunity for you to get a job and be paid while you're training. So watch us at 1 o'clock today on Table Talk with Brenda Perryman. A lot of great things coming up. We'll see you later.